So what is the CrossFit Games open and why should you enter? Well, Thursday the 11th of March 2021 sees the start of the CrossFit Games season with the announcement of the first open workout, 21.1. The open was started in 2011 initially as a first stage qualifier for the CrossFit Games. That CrossFit Games is the competition to find the fittest man and woman on Earth. If you haven't checked out any of the amazing CrossFit documentaries, please do so. Those CrossFit Games documentaries are great inspiration and motivation for your training. Now, since the Open started in 2011, it's become a lot more than just a qualifier for that final competition. It's now an opportunity for all of the worldwide CrossFit community to come together and take part in an online competition. This year, it's just three weeks long. The workouts are announced on the Thursday of each week, and then we take part in those workouts. Generally, we take them on the Friday, but we have the opportunity to do them over that weekend, submitting our score by the Monday night. Everyone involved will log their workout score on the worldwide leaderboard. Now, there's many great reasons to join this year more now than ever. It doesn't matter what age you are because age ranges from, there's categories from 14 to 15, all up to 60 plus categories. So there's a category that will fit you and they adapt the workout to fit your age category. In addition, there are categories for each level of athlete. So don't worry about being fit enough because everyone is fit enough to take part. Previous years, they've had two categories, which is an RX and a scaled. And the workouts are always designed to push you to your limits, whether that's the weight limit, whether that's your aerobic capacity or your gymnastic skill. You know, have you got a press up, a pull up, a muscle up, all of those skills. Now this year, we've actually got even more chances for those people that are newer athletes because there's a foundation category. That's going to allow people that maybe don't have certain skill levels to be able to enter at a slightly lower level and also an at-home equipment free option. So there is no excuse not to do it. You don't need any equipment. You don't need any base level of fitness. And that's the great part about this year's Open. Another great part about this is you actually get to see the workout before you choose what category you're going to enter into. And you can do different categories each week. So for example, if week one was burpees and wall balls, and you actually thought, well, I can do both of those movements, and okay, maybe it's a heavier ball than I use normally, but I'm going to give it a try, feel free to go RX in that category. If week two then suddenly had muscle-ups in the RX and pull-ups in the scaled, and you didn't have either of those, and you thought, there's not even a chance I'm going to get a pull-up, then you could go for the foundations. We'll probably have a jumping pull-up as an option. Week three might have something you can do. Might have, uh, let's say it's got a toaster bar, and you maybe got two or three toaster bars in you, and it's got some weights that you could achieve at the scaled level. Well, then you might decide, okay, this week I'm going to go for the scaled level because I have two movements that I can do in there and it's going to challenge yourself. And the way that the workouts are structured is that always, if there's something that's, that's a particularly challenging skill, that, for example, for scaled athletes, that may be pull-ups, for RX athletes, maybe muscle-ups or handstand press-ups, they generally put those towards the end of the workout. So you have to earn your way to get to those more difficult movements. And if it's a weight um, that's restricting you, it's often the heavier weights get put towards the end of the workout as well. So you can always work as far as you can and then strive and try to achieve that PR that's right on the limit of your abilities, or maybe even just beyond, and the adrenaline can push you through that. The way that the leaderboard works is if you do a workout RX, you finish above those people that do it scaled, and if you do it scaled, you finish above those people that do it perfection. And I believe there's a separate leaderboard for the at-home equipment-free option as well. So you can mix and match each workout. That will give you a position on the leaderboard. And then each week, your ranking will change depending on where you finish for that individual workout to give you a total ranking. It's a great way of seeing where you are amongst the world and especially how you improve year on year. Now, in terms of why you should be doing these open workouts, well, motivation and inspiration, I think, is the biggest reason to take part. Signing up early as well is really important because it commits you 
to competing in these three weeks of the open workouts. In the same way that having a big exam or work deadline creates that motivation, the prospect of a competition will give you that incentive to train or train harder, maybe. Just plodding on with no goal in sight can be quite difficult some days. I know that it's definitely more difficult during this lockdown when you're at home and not here in the box, which would motivate you. So having something to work towards, having a fitness goal you're training towards, you know you're going to have to submit scores, is going to really help to motivate you to train that a little bit harder and hopefully a little bit more often as well, those of you that may be dodging days because you're finding it difficult to motivate yourself to get online. I found the same experience when I was in my golf career. I had to have a competition to work towards because if I didn't, there just wasn't the same intensity in my practice and preparation. This is your competition. This is what's going to give you that motivation to prepare better. And I'm going to give you a video very shortly that's going to help you in preparing for such an event. The other reason I think it's really important to take part in the Open is to represent your box, represent CrossFit Chilton. Now more than ever, we want to show the strength of our community. I love seeing on the leaderboard athletes with CrossFit Chilton alongside their name. It's a great way of gauging the support and the strength of our community by seeing how many members can enter the CrossFit Open. Also, it can affect our position on the leaderboard because there's multiple different leaderboards for affiliates. And one of those is an accumulative score of all of the athletes that take part. So the more athletes we have, the higher our score is going to be. So yes, we can have our fittest guys representing the affiliate leaderboard and putting us alongside um, some of the other local boxes, maybe beating some of those local boxes. But if we can get as many people together as we can, submitting scores for every workout, that will hopefully put us above some of our local rivals, I suppose you could call them, uh, a lot of those that may be bigger boxes than we are. So let's really push on. Last year, the open scores for the affiliates, we were super close amongst our local boxes, St. Albans, Watford, Berkhamsted. Let's see if we can do even better this year. And we need you guys entering to help us get up that leaderboard. Now, a big thing, this is a big bug for me, is removing the not sporty tags from yourself. I absolutely hate the label not sporty. I've coached kids for 20 years and I've heard this phrase multiple times from parents. He is not or she is not sporty. It's just not true. Just because someone has yet to discover an activity they enjoy doesn't mean they're not sporty. Yes, maybe it'll take them longer to develop and they require more dedication. But when we're younger, we're limited to sports that require very similar attributes running, football, rugby, that they'll require that running around, uh, that speed. And we assume that from that, they're not going to get involved in anything that's active. Well, and a lot of the laws may be labeled with that as a kid, and therefore we're stuck with us and we just call ourselves not sporty. Maybe we just didn't find something that we loved and enjoyed. CrossFit gives everyone involved a chance to be better. We all start at our own baseline position and all we can do when we begin is to try and get better each time we work out each week each month each year the goal of the cross the open is to allow everyone in the world to take part in a sporting competition and actively participate you're responsible for your results and you can see year on year where your progress is i think it's a great source of inspiration and i think you should use that and get stuck in. Now, it doesn't matter if we're locked down or if we're at the box, we're still going to take part and we're going to put on the best showing we possibly can. I know, I experience it probably as much as anyone else. If you take my scores on Sugar World, you'll see exactly how much I struggle with competing or working out at home without other people around me. I need other people to motivate me more than probably most people in this box. So. The, the thought of a competition, whether that's online or in the box, is going to be really helpful for me as, as an inspiration. I find it difficult to motivate myself without something to work towards. So for me, this is really, really important. We're going to have a good open, whether we're 
stuck in our home or whether we are in the box. And we're still going to have our intramural limitless open. Now, every year in conjunction with the CrossFit Open, we have our in-house limitless open competition. This is where we get together as teams. Everyone in the box, everyone who's a member gets selected into a team and you have a chance to score points for your team by participating in workouts, all of the workouts, especially the open workouts, individual and team challenges, and just being a strong member of our community. At the end of this intramural open, hopefully we will have an opportunity to get together and have a finals of day, a team finals, so we can all celebrate maybe the end of a lockdown or the opportunity just to get together and compete together for the first time in a long time. I don't know. But we want to have some big event at the end of it all. But previous to that, let's get a really good team event going. I think more than ever, we need that. We have had it in the last lockdown with the lockdown championships. I think it did really well for everyone to have their uh, minds focused on something other than looking at news reports every single day. This is an equally strong opportunity to really bring ourselves together and get connected again because we are so disconnected at the moment. I urge each and every one of you to enter the CrossFit Open. It is a small financial commitment. We get nothing financially from that as an affiliate. Um, it goes to CrossFit. But I think sometimes when you're putting that money in, it's another way to commit yourself because you pay. Uh, I have a few clients that sort of say they pay for training just because it forces them to come. I think sometimes having a small commitment forces you to train because you think, well, I've actually put some money towards this. I've invested in this and therefore I need to make sure I'm getting value from that investment. So I'm going to put in the time and the effort to work towards getting a good showing. So let's make 2021 the Open a really strong year. I look forward to it. I'm really excited for it. I'm hoping, you know, I know it's a probably a 40, 60 chance of us being able to do it in-house, but I'm hoping we can do it in-house. But I'm sure that even if it's not, we're going to have a great event. Thanks for watching, guys. My next video will give you some hints as to how best